Hello students and welcome to Paramount Education. I am Rajiv Singh, your English teacher. Today I am going to start this session with English literature book Behind. And the topic that I am going to cover is poem. And we will go through the first poem from the first chapter titled The Road Not Taken. But before starting the topic, I would like to say something to you. When you are a toddler, or a child, one of the first thing you learned from your teachers, your parents or your elder brothers and sisters was how to recite a poem. We all in the childhood used to recite a whole lot of famous poems like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Johnny Johnny Yes Papa, Baba Baba Black Sheep or the, and the list goes on and on. But have you even thought why a small child is able to connect to a poem in such a natural manner? The reason is the rhythm and sound that a poem carries with it. It resembles so much so with music and dance. So before going through the first poem, we should understand about the poem in a bit detail. So let's start. So let's understand what a poem is. A poem is a piece of writing arranged in short lines. Poem tries to express thoughts and feelings with the help of sound and rhythm. There are limited number of words in a poem. Ideas are written in lines and lines are grouped in stanzas or verses. Stanzas are a group of lines or sentences. More than one reading is needed to understand the meaning of a poem. Normally, it's very difficult to understand the meaning of a poem in just one reading. So maybe you are going to take three or four reading to uh, understand the meaning of a poem. Poem or poetry is a form of literature that uses aesthetic and rhythmic qualities of language to evoke meaning. Now here we, we should understand the meaning of two words aesthetic and evoke. Aesthetic means anything concerned with beauty of nature or artistic impact or appearance of nature and evoke means to produce a feeling of memory in somebody. The language of a poem is not as natural or free as a prose. Prose means anything apart from poem or any literary writing apart from a poem is considered as a prose. The title of the given poem is The Road Not Taken. This well-known poem is about making choices and the choices that shape us. Robert Frost is an American poet who writes simply but insightfully about common ordinary experiences of human life. So before starting each and every stanza and understanding the meaning of every stanza, let's understand the summary of this poem in Hindi also. Through this poem, the poet wants to say that Hamari life mein hum jo bhi decisions lete hai, wo hamare future ko bhi impact ya prabhavit karta hai. In his sub choices, pe hamara future decision be depend karta hai. Or ye choices hum kaise le ye hum pe depend karta hai. So let's understand each stanza one by one. Let's start with the stanza number one. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. The speaker is walking through a forest whose leaves have turned yellow in the autumn season. He comes to a halt on the diverging roads. Now he is in a dilemma. The speaker is regretting that he is not able to travel both the roads since he is after all just one person and for one person it's not possible to travel two roads at once. He stands at the fork in the road for a long time and tries to see where one of the paths leads. However, the speaker can't see very far because the forest is dense and the road is not straight. Now let's read the second stanza. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted bare. Though as for that the passing deer had worn them really about the same. The speaker takes the other path, judging it to be just as good a choice as the first and supposing that it may be the better 
option of the two since it looks grassy and less worn or used than the other path now that the speaker has already walked on the second road he thinks that in reality the two roads are more or less equally worn or used so now let's read the third stanza and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how well it's on to way i doubted if i should ever come back the speaker wants to say that both roads were covered with leaves and which had not yet been turned black by foot traffic the speaker exclaims that he is in fact just saving the first road and will try to travel it in a later day then immediately he contradicts himself with the acknowledgement that in life one road tends to lead onwards to another so it's therefore unlikely that he will ever actually get a chance to return to that first road now let's understand the f and read the final stanza stanza number 4 i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i took the one less traveled by and that has met all the difference the speaker imagines himself in the distant future recounting with a sigh the story of making the choice of which road to take he is speaking while looking back at his life from the future the speaker states that he was faced with a choice between two roads and he chose the road that was less traveled and the consequences or the result of that decision have made all the differences in his life before ending this session i would like to read a very famous quote by the poet robert frost poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and the thought has found words thank you so let's meet again tomorrow in the live lecture live video class so till then